In my area, more than 40% of girls don't have access to school, to education, and uh, I think it's very important. That's why I work for to make sure girls have also access to education. They can be more aware of uh, how to protect themselves. And uh, I know school protects more children than in the community. And uh, being educated, they can also uh, plan for their life and uh, be more um, uh, autonomous and so on. In Cameroon, child and early marriage is still prevalent. 30% of women are married before the age of 18, including almost 11% before the age of 15. More than half of women experience physical or sexual violence from an intimate partner during their lifetimes. Mat Wandu and her organization Aldipa work with girls through self-help groups and girls' clubs. They can share their experiences with those who are still traumatized to make them sure uh, being a violent is not my fault and uh, I, life is still possible. I can start and then I can develop my skills and can, I can uh, benefit from uh, um, professional training. And uh, even if I did not have uh, a chance to go to school, uh, I can still develop my skills and be autonomous from in my life and uh, to reflect more and to take more in charge myself and my uh, family. In the far north region of Cameroon, the presence of the terrorist group Boko Haram has put girls and women in even greater danger. Boko Haram is known for sexual violence against women. Wandu and her organization help women who have fled the terror. Some have been raped. Some have been kidnapped. Some joined Boko Haram maybe because their husband were there or also their friends were there. And uh, being with Boko Haram, some has been used like uh, uh, sexual slaves. And uh, the, the husband has been killed or sometimes children have been killed in front of them or kidnapped in front of them. So they think maybe living for them is not necessary. They consider themselves a somebody who is dead. What we do for them is first to go for psychological support because this is where we can start with them to build their capacity to make them uh, having a confidence themselves who want to go to trainings we, we train them but also we support them with financial means those uh, activities can help them to send children to school to also feed themselves and to make sure they have a place where they can they can stay in the community and be safe of uh, violence again uh, sometimes i feel proud of uh, what we achieve it gives me a strength and courage to, to to work more for those women and and girls <laughs>